Hey, thanks for joining me today on the ClearBlade Technical Blog Series. My name is Aaron Alsbrook, and we're going to do uh, real-life, real-time indoor positioning today. Uh, indoor positioning can be done a number of different ways, whether it's uh, RFID, RAIN technology, or UWB Ultra Wideband, or even BLE. Uh, today we're using actually Wiser Systems uh, antenna and infrastructure for how we do indoor positioning with UWB. Uh, and one of the first things we have to do is, with their kit is uh, go ahead and get it installed and hang the antennas. So if you look around our office, you'll see we've already pre-hung these antennas. The total unboxing experience of this took us less than an hour, so we had a very positive experience. Um, and ultimately now with these antennas hung, we're going to be able to get 3D real-time positions of tagged assets around our office. With all the antennas hung, the next piece was to actually install the Wiser software. Uh, the Wiser software gathers all the points, obviously, and, and calculates positions. What we've done is we actually installed that on the Intel uh, next unit of compute, the Intel Nook here, where it's actually running all of that information, gathering up the data that comes in. Um, and obviously, we're going to leverage this not only for the Wiser software, but also for the ClearBlade Edge as we build out this solution. So if we look at that, we can see that we essentially have taken the uh, downtown offices here of ClearBlade and we've installed the Wiser system. Uh, we have it running on a next unit of compute, uh, tracking aeronautical uh, production machines and tools and, and elements going into engines, uh, integrating them with large systems from IBM and Oracle and SAP, uh, running across lots of pieces of hardware from Dell, HP, and XP, right? They, these solutions get quite complex. For the, the sake of what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to have some fun and, and track our Indiana Jones idols that exist here in the ClearBlade office. Uh, we're constantly losing these things with people coming in and performing that swap. Uh, so rather than having a large stone roll, we're just going to keep track of that thing directly. If you look at this system, we can see we have actually multiple solutions running here under this account, but we see CB Office Indoor Asset Tracking. Uh, this is the ClearBlade Office Indoor Tracking. There's some collections here available of asset types and maps and zones and such. Obviously, there's some business logic and some triggers firing events to show all this information. Um, and most importantly, there's portals. So the idea that we can visualize what's going on here. The first one I'll start with is the end result of all this. I can open the asset tracking portal, select the floor I want to look at and see I have two tags sitting right here next to me. I'm actually located in the same block between these two uh, tags and they're being accurately tracked right now. I can select one, the Indiana Jones Idol here, for instance. Um, we've also put it in a particular location on the floor here where we're running this particular map. Uh, very nice, we have attached alerts as well. We'll demonstrate how those work in just a moment. So if you look at what we've done, we've kind of done two sides of the equation now. We've installed the Wiser system along with the Intel Next Unit of Compute. We've also done the ClearBlade IoT platform side. That means that we've actually installed the two IPM packages into an IoT solution, and then we've started to do the integration between these two things. But how do they actually tie together? Uh, the IoT platform itself lives on a server or a cloud infrastructure. Uh, obviously, the Wiser's in our building. Um, well, indoor asset tracking uh, is a great example of the power of IoT Edge. This is the ability to be very efficient about how we get data off in the local environment, understand that data, potentially scrub or rake that data before it leaves, and process it. Um, it also adds a lot of durability. It means that we'll have uptime if the cloud goes down. Um, all of those elements, not to mention what we, we get to save in costs to going to a particular cloud. So if we install the ClearBlade Edge, obviously the process is built there, um, we can actually put the ClearBlade Edge on the existing hardware where Wiser is running, um, such that there's no additional hardware cost to what's going on, and we now have the ability to do all of the integration and visualize right here in the offices. Um, so a lot of value in what's being put there. If I go back to the ClearBlade system, we can see that we have the Edge here running, the Intel NUC, the IP address associated with it, and then we've gone ahead and we've deployed certain elements of this solution, the Wiser piece, particularly for getting the data off of the Wiser environment. We've deployed it to that particular edge. We have timers and such pooling all of the information. So let's go in and look at the administration side of all this. I can open the Asset Manager, and you can see a, another portal coming out of the system that gives us a, a lot more information. Uh, we can see assets that haven't been provisioned. We can see those two assets that are online or offline currently. Uh, look at floor maps and even look at asset types. The thing we're not really showing yet here is our, our kind of fun uh, Indiana Jones idol. So let's just create together 
uh, this Indiana Jones idol. And we'll give it a icon. And so we'll create this new asset type. And now with the new asset type available, we'll go ahead and map one of our tags that's currently moving around the office and no longer will be a passive tag. Instead, we'll make it an Indiana Jones idol and we'll update it. So if I come back to our asset tracking, we can look there and we can see that now when we select the floor, we now have our new asset on the floor. Um, before we demonstrate kind of moving it around in the actual alerts, we need to think about how we would set up those alerts. Um, we'll go back to the asset administrator. Uh, in that section, we'll now add the door section. I'll click start drawing. And I'll create a bit of a grid around our door. So now with the door section created, we'll get alerts as assets walk in and out of that location. So before we show it working, let's look one more time at what's happening inside the actual situation. Uh, we can see that our wiser system is actually pulling uh, data off on a timer model rather than triggering model at this moment. We could certainly change that, but that's ultimately uh, being publishing the data via a service called Edge, Fetch, Tags, and Publish. If I go look at that service, we can see that while it gets the data, it processes it. Ultimately, it just publishes it to a topic that the visualization tools are watching. What that now means is, is that when we fresh this portal, we now see our new zone and I'll take and walk this idle out the door and we should be able to see the alerts as they happen. So now you can see obviously that we probably would want to tie in some other IPM packages like uh, email or SMS alerting or even set off the fire alarm when the ILO goes leaving the building. Um, but we've proven here that we can tie these two technologies together quite quickly and provide a custom IoT solution for the vertical domain of uh, protecting against the Indiana Joneses of the world. Hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. Thanks for joining me today on the ClearBlade technical series. Talk to you next time. <music>